Hey guys, it's the Main Sandwich, and if you haven't heard the news, the Metroid Prime... Oh my gosh, it's just... <sighs> Andy O'Neill, a, a technical engineer of at Retro's Deals for Metroid Prime 2 and 3, has passed away on June 10th. Like, I just found this out right now. I mean, it was reported on June 18th. I, oh my gosh, like, this is crazy. Like, so I, so I found this out, well, thanks to Wii U Gamer, like, thanks to, thanks to him, I know about this, so you can, so go check him out. Um, so it says that he died on June 10th, 2019 at his home in Austin, Texas of uncle undisclosed causes. He was only 47 years old. His death was reported on June 18th by Blueprint Games. I can't believe that he died. Like, he... Before E3! Oh my gosh. It's... He was a good man. You have to admit, he is a good man. So... So, so to remember him, I just wanted to put this video out, and and I would play a Metroid Prime game, like, like if I own Metroid Prime 3 for the Wii, if I own that, I definitely would play that to remember him, but I don't own that. If I did, I definitely would play it for him. Um, um, I really wanted to, um, um, he, Andy was a good man, thanks to him, we got a lot of awesome Metroid games, and now Metroid Prime 4, <sighs> Hopefully they can do that. Hopefully before or after the game ends, they could write, "Thank you for everything, Andy O'Neill," or something like that. Like or say, "In memory of Andy O'Neill," or something like that. In Metro Prime Four, they they should do that. And and I'm pretty sure Metro Prime Four has been delayed because of that. It's it's crazy. He was he was good. He was a good man. I hope you rest in peace, Andy. You're a good man. From me and all the Metro Prime fans, or Metro Prime fans, I said, from all from all the fans of Metro Prime, rest well.